Casper was just within the flow? You going after the offensive board more? Uh, yeah, I've just been trying to make a more concerted effort on the boards, but that was just luck. So, um, just I, I, I kind of have to really just be aggressive on the boards. Uh, you know, playing this team, uh, they thrive off of second chance points, and you give those up, you're putting yourself in a bad position. So. Um, I just try to be aggressive on the boards and do what I'm supposed to do. It's just my job, and 19 is just a big number. Uh, I'm not really paying too much attention to that. Uh, I'm going to have to do it again uh, uh, tomorrow as far as being aggressive on the boards. So, you know, that's behind me. Chris, today Tom Thibodeau was fine for the comments he made about the officiating of LeBron and all these things. As a player, when you hear a coach say that, do you think that's gamesmanship from the coach, trying to maybe get under the official skin, get them knowing, or do you take it personally when a coach says that about a player? No. Um, you know, maybe it's just gamesmanship. I don't know. Um, Thibodeau strikes me as a very uh, intelligent guy. Um, you never know what their angle is. Uh, but, you know, with those things, uh, we can't control that. So if a guy know. says, if the coach says, well, I think Bosch is flopping. I think yeah. he's flopping on that play. Does that bother And then I'll just say, no, I'm not. <laughs> and that's all. Yeah, you know what I mean? There's no reason to get bent out of shape. <laughs> you disappointed that you're not playing today? No. It was a it was a battle, um, and I think the two days rest came at the right time. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know the schedule is a schedule. Uh, one one thing I always keep in mind is that once you're in it, you're in it. So one, if I have two days in between, I enjoy those days uh, because when that game comes, it's going to be very intense. It's, it's, it's going to be a battle, and you know my legs are very very sore after. Uh, after the game Friday, so you know it's um, time to uh, continue to recuperate, get better, and you know uh, go back out there and uh, battle again tomorrow. Chris, I know you guys are used to being away on holidays and things, and Mother's Day is always around playoff time. But if you could reflect on Mother's Day and just obviously uh, with your wife, your child, all those things. Well, I mean, we all come from our mothers, and uh, it's just uh, very important to respect your mother and um, celebrate your mom, and um, you know. A lifetime of work that they've uh, done. It's uh, it's very important to just tell them thank you. I love you. Good job. Give them some flowers. Take them out to dinner. All that good stuff. So you're playing, that's the, that's the playing normally the flowers and all that stuff. Yeah, women love flowers from what I hear. So <laughs> I try to put some flowers out there. Chris, during that instructional moment with uh, with Rio on the court the other night, and uh, uh, Noah was there clapping. He's, you were just focused on what you were telling Rio. Yeah. What was, did you even notice Noah and what he was doing? Yeah, I noticed it, but everything is outside noise to me. Um, what was most important is that Rio and I have a discussion, um, and we got on the same page after that. You know, I, I, I'm, I've always been a guy to just get things out, get your feelings out. He, I was yelling at him. I was upset. He was yelling at me. He was upset, but we're in it together, and we're trying to win a championship. And to do that, there are going to be some moments where you have to get things out. And if, if I'm concentrated on what the other opponent is doing, then I'm not doing our team uh, the, the right thing. You know, so that doesn't affect me. <laughs> Your thoughts on Thibodeau just kind of planting the seed that you guys are getting an advantage, officiating wise, and how you think that might affect things moving forward? No, I mean, the game is the game. Uh, it's even. Um, I don't. We don't feel that you know there is any discrepancies. Uh, and like we always say, refs are human. Um, they're not going to catch every single thing. They're not going to get every single thing right. But uh, and, and we don't either as players. But the game is the game, and we concentrate on what we can control, um, which is just playing hard. And if a call goes 